Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Business doing a video, hopefully what will be a series on the uh, second season of Ranked here in World of Warships, uh, just showing off the ranks and the, um, the not the achievements, but the rewards you can get for each of them. Um, I started at rank 15, I didn't start at 18. I, uh, I guess that's based off of the previous uh, season like where you got with that. I only got to rank 20 out of 25 um, uh, with the previous season, so it seems kind of weird that, you know, it skipped the first three uh, tiers or uh, ranks or whatever the hell. But um, I really like what they've done this time around with having it's, it's tier 5 and 6 up to tier 10, and then after that it's um, tier 7 and 8. So you can bet your sweet ass I'm going with the Amagi once I get to tier 10, if that happens. Um, I've had some very, very, very bad luck lately. Uh, the rewards are excellent, though. Um, hell of a lot of flags. You get the Type 4 camo, which is the Halloween camo, uh, where you get the reduced enemy accuracy and double XP. You get 100 of those, so that is freaking insane. And you get 10 million credits and a sweet ass pirate flag, too. So... Uh, no complaining from me on that front. And they did shake it up quite a bit, which is what I was really hoping for. But uh, I decided to sell my Mogami to fund my purchase of a Fuso again because I had really bad games that you're going to see. Um, I don't have this captain upgraded yet, and uh, I'm running the uh, accuracy mod um, for him. And for the Cleveland, I'm running the AA range mod. And I'm not running the uh, the AA defensive fire. I'm sticking with the uh, hydroacoustic search because there's a lot of destroyers. And speaking of destroyers, I decided to start off with the Minikaze. And uh, all I can say is that didn't work out very well. Nope. I mean, this part did, but that was, that was a pretty bad defeat. Then I tried the Mermaidsk. Shockingly similar results. <laughs> and then I rolled with the Cleveland for a little while, and I had fully intended this to happen because the New Mexico was coming through the channel. I had known about it. I wanted to make sure that the destroyer had been killed when I uh, pulled off this <laughs> this sweet ass move. It's ranked, man. I'm going all in, so that's for sure. But good night, buddy. Boom. Gotcha. High caliber and confederate on top of that. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. So, um, basically what I've been doing with uh, the Cleveland is just being a, uh, a destroyer hunter. And, you know, you get within 10, 12 kilometers. And, you know, once uh, they're spotted, you can really start messing up their, uh, their patterns for their movement and whatnot. And, uh... You know, keep them away from your capital ships, and um, you know it doesn't always work that way. But uh, you know, it, um, I had some decent uh, decent success with it uh, running the Cleveland this time around, so I was uh, a little happier about that. Um, some really, I gotta say, the same thing happened in the first season with some pretty inexplicable behavior by various people on my teams, <laughs> uh, the enemy team. Um, I had to pick up the Fuso because, uh, well, one, I didn't want to do to New Mexico again. I, I wanted to try this out with some range this time, and honestly, I don't think I ever gave the Fuso much of a chance to uh, really sink in with me. Um, and it's been working out pretty well so far. Uh, I've won... Uh, a few matches with it, and uh, this one, oh, man, man, oh man, oh man. I hope this is enjoyable because the results were so frustrating. I was so close to a couple things that just uh, irked the hell out of me, but I couldn't play the Minikaze because I couldn't rely on my cruisers to clear out the enemy cruisers or the battleships. Uh, you know, to clear the cruisers out. I couldn't play the cruiser because I couldn't rely on my uh, team's battleships to clear out the enemy battleships and so on and so forth, but now with playing a battleship, I actually feel like I'm having an impact on the game. And not only that, that I 
you know, the previous video with the, um, the Imagi 200,000 damage matchups, um, you know, I mentioned about the whole battleship players and, you know, the divisiveness in the, uh, um, the community as far as what class do you play. It, you know, it's stupid, but it does kind of make sense <laughs> not to, uh, you know, be hypocritical or anything, but, you know, I, I obviously have more of an impact on the match in a battleship than I do any other class. I don't consider, consider myself a battleship player, but, you know, that's just how it goes. So, um, this is one of those parts that I was mentioning that uh, I kind of regret. Uh, I didn't need to kill this New York. And especially not when I still potentially had a shot at the Cleveland over there. Because if you can take a look at the map... Alright, we just lost our cruiser that was over there. And now we have our carrier exposed. I mean, granted, we did need those points. At some point, we needed them, at least. But, uh, I don't have a shot now on the enemy Cleveland. And I try, but I had just lost the... Uh, the sight of him and everything. Um, unfortunately, our Nurburg gets damn near nuked right there. Yikes. And uh, I had warned him that the New Mexico was probably coming back around here, and, um, you know, he didn't ready his torps or anything. <sighs> and uh, on a similar note, I didn't give a heads up to our uh, carrier about that Cleveland, which maybe he would have turned around and headed north or, um, you know, maybe he would have cut south to put the island between he and the uh, the Cleveland, but regardless, uh, the result is the same. So, uh, enemy torps coming in from the Matsuki, and this is one of those moments where I'm balancing the outgoing damage with the incoming damage. I had the salvo coming up and I had to get it off because it's just that type of uh, situation in this match where you know every shot's gonna matter quite a bit and um, I know I'm gonna most likely deal with at least one torpedo so I take one on the nose there and I can deal with that that's fine I had the repair party ready to go and uh, unfortunately a lot of those torps from the Nuremberg miss. It does get a few of them though, so that's good. But um, um, maneuvering back and forth, trying to uh, get my turrets in line here. And I am going to shoot for that gap there between the island. And uh, I got to get this salvo off, come on. <laughs> and he does a lot of damage to me. Shitty, shitty, shitty. Oh well. But the saving grace for me on this, I think, was that those uh, Nuremberg torpedoes actually may have pushed the Matsuki just a little further away. Maybe he launched those torps a little differently than he wanted to. I had HE ready to go, um, or not ready to go, but I switched over as soon as I fired that uh, salvo against the New Mexico there at the end. And I split these torpedoes and... Nuke the Matsuki. Sweet. However, that still leaves two ships. One I know about, one I don't. So, the Zhuho, um, he did give away his position a second ago, <clears throat> and he's going to do it again in a little bit more of a, uh, you know, certain manner. Um, I know I'm dodging these torps, so I'm switching back around. I make the mistake here of not having AP ready, however. And I move over to engage the Cleveland, and look at this. Ugh. I don't know what the hell I was thinking there. Way, way, way off target. I mean, that's almost like pre-buff uh, Colorado accuracy right there. That's just awful. I just, uh, I totally screwed that one up. And you'll see a lot more screw-ups here in a sec, so... Strap yourselves in. Um, <laughs> I had to move out of the gap because one, it didn't matter anymore because of the fact that the um, the 
uh, cap was reset by the damage that came in. Um, I spread around my shots to try to guarantee some hits, which worked out because it kills them. However, I switched to HE, but anyways, I switched back. So um, the uh, torpedo planes start coming in, and it's from due south of me. So I'm like, hmm, if I can find this bastard, <laughs> I might be able to win this. The problem is the fact that I'm not on the cap. And also that I launched my damn scout plane. My first shot with the scout plane is almost always terrible. It's like a, a guarantee. I, I just, I, it's like a, a, a warning shot. <laughs> like that, um, you know, I'm giving them a clue as to where I am. And look at that shit. Oh my God, what was I doing? And then I switched to HE. I'm running out of time. That they're capping so quickly and everything. I'm like, just looking back at this, it's one of those things where I really got to be hard on myself about this because I could have had Solo Warrior, which after... When did they introduce that? Um, I think it was about 800 games in uh, to the closed beta when they introduced the awards, like Confederate, Solo Warrior, Devastating Strike, and all that. And uh, I ended up with... Um, 1,503 or something like that total matches in the closed beta so we're going on close to 2,000 matches and I still have not earned that damn thing <laughs> um, and in case you're wondering Solo Warrior is when you uh, have four enemies remaining and you win um, I would rather not get it in a destroyer where I'm hiding I'd rather duke it out and earn it but um, that's actually the first time I've been in the situation where, you know, I wasn't um, already basically dead and somebody just come in and came in and mopped it up, you know. Um, that was the first time I actually had a, a chance to, to win it. And, um, yeah, just really disappointed in that. But, oh well. I did, uh, I think it was about 113,000 damage that match. And in this one, we have the same carrier player that uh, was in the last match actually um, and I'm I hate to say it but uh, kind of the same thing happens again <laughs> uh, we have the infamous war beastie and his fuso over here I, I think he only plays now when uh, it's ranked battles but um, yeah so I had to send him a special care package in the form of 22,338 damage uh, <laughs> Worked out pretty well. Um, he actually fends him, uh, defends himself pretty well uh, this match. Um, I mean, granted, I wasn't watching, so you know, he, he does end up with a couple kills, but um, then it turns out that the enemy Minikaze is a sector away from our Bogue, and this poor guy, he just can't catch a break. And, uh, you know, our cruisers are way off. You know, and I, they are pushing the enemy and like keeping them occupied so that we can have a chance to engage uh, their cruisers. But it, it's basically the same thing happening in a in the mirror. So the cruisers are in the top left. Our uh, you know our cruisers. I mean, uh, their cruisers are in the top uh, the bottom right, and it, it's basically a mirror image of uh, what's happening here it's so weird but um you know when it comes to ranked if you're not together you're not playing as a team at all and i mean it's 7v7 you have to really think of it as a collective health pool for the team and uh you know you have to get your battleships in there to take some of the heat to get some pressure off of your cruisers and you have to get your uh cruisers and your destroyers in there to you know, set fires and launch torps and try to help your battleships out. Or, you know, in the case of uh, the uh, aircraft carriers, try to cover their flanks so they don't get torped in the ass. And it's ranked, so that pretty much doesn't happen. Um, when you do get a good team, you're just like, oh my god, finally. <laughs> you know, and uh, I've lost, let's see, I think I've played 14 matches so far. I've won four. Yeah, 
So I think I lost, what, six? Six or seven in a row? Yeah. Yeah, it's not fun. Um, but, you know, I'm I'm going to stick with it this time around. I, I want to get it to at least, like, rank five or something. I, I'd really love to get to rank one. I think that would be really cool. Uh, plus, I want the damn flags since they're not going to sell them again. And uh, luckily, by the way, look at this. This is perfect, isn't it? This dude apparently disconnected. <laughs> So he lost his connection, and uh, it just happened to be like the tightest spread ever from a Fuso. Like, man, if that was like a battleship and that was AP, that would have been a huge, huge uh, uh, salvo. But yeah, um, he comes back in a second and mentions it in chat that he uh, disconnected. So I think he would have died anyways, um, since he was in my detection range and whatnot. Um, I just would have had to deal with torps and... Otherwise, the I think in that respect, the uh, um, one way or another, he was going to die. So, uh, oddly, uh, I didn't notice this at any other time, but um, I don't know why I have a transparent mini map. I don't have any mods installed at the moment, so other than ship skins from Tans and uh, AWOL Freedom. So I don't know what the hell's causing that, unless it's just like a new thing for Ocean, but because um, I didn't notice it any other map. But uh, I am engaging multiple ships, and this is where I feel the most comfortable in a battleship. Um, especially, like, this is exactly how I would play the Amagi, and uh, that's, that's why uh, part of the reason why I chose the, the Fuso instead of, you know, any of the, uh, any of the other uh, battleships available to me at uh, uh, Tier 5 or 6. And it's because it behaves um, in a lot of respects like the Yamagi. And um, ignore that. By the way, I was actually shooting at the Nuremberg, not the Cleveland. Uh, that's just a stupid little replay bug. But being able to have, you know, the front two turrets on the target uh, to protect your side. And when they fire, you swing the rear round, which you'll see here in a moment. Um... To uh, to unload the rest of the turrets, uh, you know it's it works, and you know a lot of people don't know what to do about it. And uh, I actually you saw it the previous match against the New Mexico, um, I had to put myself in the position to take damage, just because I couldn't let the guy live any longer. Um, so luckily it worked out in that respect. But if you watch the bottom left, how. I'll fire and then turn towards the ship and then I'll start turning back to get the other turrets on and uh, you know I, I'm trying to time it with his turrets uh, with his firing um, although he's kind of doing the same thing his front turrets or rear turrets just fired and he's gonna switch it up and uh, send the other turrets right there and <clears throat> um, right after I fired I'm already trying to pull back to port and I'm trying to have my friendly Cleveland there focus on the enemy Cleveland since he's so close to death and at this point I realize the opportunity as the enemy Fuso is turning to his right and as he's doing that and giving me his side I'm able to angle myself against the New Mexico and close the gap against him so I'm using my 45,000 HP to protect the Cleveland behind me and my guns to try to help my Farragut over there. So it's not like these situations are like, you know, that you can make these necessarily. They just kind of happen. Um, it's more about recognizing the situation and getting the right thing uh, or, you know, the uh, the things to go the way you want by forcing it and um, in this respect um, I have every intention that if this uh, New Mexico turns back towards me I'm going to ram the shit out of them <laughs> you know that's that's my goal is to win this and uh, you know you saw it with the Cleveland I'm not afraid to do it but I still have my ship angled at the uh, enemy New Mexico here pretty well so I'm still protecting myself while I take out the other two ships, so he's lost all support. 
and now we get to do battleship stuff and disappointed with that one I don't know why that uh, that sank into the water so so early but whatever um, so the uh, the Cleveland that's behind me he's doing just fine this uh, New Mexico is still focusing on me and that's all I need him to do and uh, bring my all my guns to bear on him good salvo destroyed the turret there so he just lost some of his offensive capability I'm turning back to the left just doing that whole serpentine type of movement and I think this is a a good victory I mean obviously we're gonna win it so yay <laughs> but uh, this ends up being about a hundred thirty thousand damage match and uh, or a hundred thirty five thousand I think and uh, um, bringing my whole ship around doesn't matter I'm gonna take some damage, but I'm gonna end this shit now. Boom, there we go. And just showing off the result screens for some of the other matches that I've won. Uh, you can definitely earn a fair amount with ranked, and I think it's worthwhile to play in that respect and uh, earn the flags, of course, but just please, please, please play as a team. You'll do better. Uh, the quality of the matches will be better. Uh, it, it's just the thing to do, right? And either way, I do plan on having uh, more videos here as my sanity allows me to, but I uh, hope you enjoyed guys and I'll see you out there. Take care.